fishing. Well, we've got our reels on wheels uh, senior loaded up right here. A couple of big game rods, a couple of uh, smaller rods here to catch some bait with. We're loaded down with a uh, full cooler and a Rubbermaid full of Miller Lights, uh, Budweiser. Uh, this Rubbermaid right here, we have, uh, can't see in there now, but we've got some fresh mullet and fresh shrimp we call them the creek back here. Right here we've got our cast net and our minnow bucket with uh, fresh live bait in here. And right here we've got all the tackle we need. Uh, a couple rod holders in this nice cart, and we're down the beach. We'll see you down there in a minute with a live shark. Right now we're going to put a piece of bait on the circle hook and hope to catch a nice uh, game fish on here. Uh, we've got a seven off, uh, kind of got to circle hook, and uh, we're going to bait it up and uh, carry it out there on the kayak so we can get extended distance on our cast and get it way out there past the breakers. All right, right here we got a fresh mullet. Uh, caught it out of the creek last night. Uh, back here in the creek where the inlet runs through, used the cast net and caught these. Uh, jumping around back there. We're going to cut these up, lay them, and put them in a nice big chunk size for uh, hopefully some uh, big redfish down here. I like to run along these beaches right here, right past the inlet. Right now we're just cutting the filet off the fish right here. We'll cut some chunks off. This is a little bit big, but we're going to cut a few chunks like this and bait them up. Put them on the circle hook and throw them out there. Take this piece of mullet, hook it through the top right here. There's plenty of room for it to grab onto. Alright, what we're going to do here is use this uh, Wilder to System uh, kayak to get a little extended distance on our cast. We're going to take it uh, and hook it right here in the back of the kayak. We've got the bail open right here, and I've got a partner here, my brother, Brian. And, uh, he's going to show me what's the time. I'm going to take this out here about as far as I can go. I'm going to send them out about 125 yards. He's got about 125 yards of this braided 65 pound test line and then it's tied to a blood knot with a 17 pound monofilament behind that to keep it from ripping the reel off if something were to spool it. So we're going to send them out about 100 yards, 125 yards, get them to drop it. They'll still have about 75 to 100 yards on the reel in case something big runs with it and hopefully we'll uh, get the fish in. What's up with you always grabbing the rods first, Daniel? Well, it's first man, first first come, first serve. You get to the rod first, you reel it in. I don't know if that plays true. Man. Well, we can't let the thing take our rod, right? Yeah. That's a big fish. I forgot this. Come on, let thing pulled a mullet. Ah! Uh, mullet. That's not a lot of steel leader on. Need that steel leader. Take your rod, you, you take it through your eyelet right there. You want to be careful. You pull about six inches, five inches or so through. And you want to make a loop, but you want to be careful not to kink it right there at the uh, eyelet. So you kind of hold your thumbs and your uh, index finger there to keep it from kinking and start this uh, twist. Basically, you just want to twist it. Twist it up as tight as, you, as tight as you can, going up the wire. As you go farther up, that's it. Just 
uh, it's not a hold as far as once you're pulling, nothing's going to pull that free once you twist it up. And you want to do the same thing with your uh, circle hook and snip off the excess, down, leave a little bit, bend it down, and nothing, nothing's going to pull that free. You're going to lose your, uh, break your swivel or break your line before that, that comes undone. He pulled the whole circle hook off of the ring. Yeah. You can't use those little clips like that. Yeah. I can't pull that out of there. It takes a lot to pull it out of there. I can't do it. Alright, let's try it again. They're out there. What can we do? Try again. We'll get one of these one of these days. They're out there. There's big ones. They smell the blood. They're ready for action. Get the stuff in the way right here, Kelly. Trout. Oh, bluefish. Lightning fish. Hold on, hold on. Damn it. I'm gonna get a shot at the circle looking for the corner. Man, it's right in the corner. What we got here is a ladyfish. Not, not very good for eating. Pops right out. At least live. Not very good for eating, but a fun fighting fish. Circle hook got this guy right in the corner of the mouth. We're gonna lease him, he's ready to go. Right here we use circle hook, and uh, these circle hooks work real effective on uh, catch and release. We hook that guy right in the corner of their mouth, and every time it seems that they, they hook perfectly because picture this the corner of the mouth of the fish, this fish swallows it, it takes off and runs and hooks him right in the corner of the mouth. Whereas the standard J hook, you're gonna swallow that thing and it's gonna go deep in there and gut hook him. With these circle hooks, they hook him in the corner of the mouth almost 100% of the time and it works effective for catch and release. Right 
about 50 pounds probably. 50 pounds. All right, boys. Yeah, let's get them back in the water. I got you, I got you. Look like. 